What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft here on the Lorwyn channel. Uh, the Vintage Cube Draft today has been replaced by a Lorwyn Flashback Draft, so... Close enough. Yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. However, if you watched the last video, you'll notice we did get Cryptic Command and Sower of Temptation, so it's basically the same. And, uh... Let's try Hint Water. What's that? I don't know what Hint Water is. So, like, got a hint of water in it? He said it's, he's like, it's so good. It's literally like Mio. It's just all flavor with just a hint of water so that it's really super concentrated. It tastes better after you've squirted it in Mike's mouth. Maybe that's true. Lorwyn is part of Vintage. That's true. Lorwyn is part of most sets except for Standard, I think. Mike is awake in here. That means a 6-0. All right, well, we'll see. We'll see if you're good luck. Maybe that's why you have to sleep so much because when you're awake, you're too powerful. <laughs> And you have to rest because your powers get drained really quickly when you're awake. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go with that. <laughs> Nailed it. What time are you leaving tomorrow? Uh, Matt's flight lands at 12.55. So I'll probably leave at like 12.30. Okay. I'm going to try to be ready for that. Okay, you need to be ready for that. Don't try. It's not hard. <laughs> it's not a difficult task that you really need to like give it your all for. You set an alarm, the you take 12. a shower, and we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to do that. Like, No, dude, just do it. Well, I did try to do that today. I tried to wake up at noon to go get like food. I saw the, you awake, yeah. Yeah, uh, and it didn't work. What happened? So what happens? Well, I went, to, I went to go back to sleep again, and I like I, I set my alarm for one or whatever, but I messed it up, and it didn't go off. Why didn't you just not go back to sleep? I don't know. <laughs> God, you're my fucking favorite, man. This is amazing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, cause it I wasn't was, on purpose. Like you were, oh, man, Felipe, I was going to destroy him this morning, dude. I like yeah, when I woke up to that, I'm like... This has nothing to do with me, right? You're like, all right, I'm good. <laughs> I went to go take a shower this morning, and I could tell Felipe was using, like, in the other bathroom, he was, like, the shower was running, and Felipe takes, like, 25-minute showers. So, uh, let's figure out the pick here. This guy's good. It's a 1-1 one -one for 2, but it deals 1 damage to any target for 4 mana. That's expensive, though. Jesus, that's bad. That's <laughs> when this enters the battlefield, create two three ones. So, it's a 5-5 five -five for 8 with that makes two three ones, And then you can sack an elemental to give any giant plus 3, plus 1. This is a six six. That could, it's a this is a giant lord. And then there's tar fire and lash out. I would take lash out over tar fire 100 percent of the time. Shut up and take my money. Okay. This should cover a second alarm clock from my. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh lord. Do we go giants or do we like if we, even if we go giants do we take the sunrise sovereign or the lash out? I would mm. just take the lash out. Over the sunrise sovereign. Man. Are giants really a thing? Yeah, there's giants. Then take the giant boy. All right, I'm taking the giant boy. Oh, and then we get past the tar fire and a tar pitcher. Do you want to be a tar pitcher or a belly itcher? Probably a belly itcher. Okay, well, I think it's probably tar fire here. I don't think we're going to have that many goblins. Even this guy's very good. There might be giants. That's good. That's a solid reference. Anyway, what I was saying was Felipe, I could hear him in his shower. And Felipe is notorious for taking like 25 minute showers and leaving zero hot water for anyone else. So as soon as I heard that the water was running, I was like, this is going to suck. We also take Aether Snipe and go, like, see this guy, as long as you control a giant, it gets plus one, plus one, and has first strike. So we're hoping those guys come back. Mm, every other goblin you control is put into a graveyard. You may have to deal one damage to a player or a planeswalker. Nobody cares about that. I think this is literally the only pick we can have. Sweaty boy, thank you so much for the reason. I can't believe I've spent five magical months with Bobby Butters. Have a real freaking great birthday. You deserve it. Also, hi, Butt Munch. <laughs> wow. Happy birthday, Bobby Butters. Um, Ooh, Rings of Brightheart? Oof, that's a card. That's a commander card right there. Yeah, it is. Um, whenever you clash, you can pay one and make a 3-1 elemental. It's not bad. Although, I think I just take Consuming Bonfire, which is... Four, even do? four damage to non-elemental or seven damage to a tree folk. So it's just solid removal. Okay, another six drop. Anyway, the point is, I went to go take my shower, and it was it was obviously cold water. So I took a three minute shower. There was zero hot water because Felipe had used it all, and I felt like I was like back when Hurricane Irma hit the house. Uh, 
our power was out for like three, two, three, two, two weeks, right? It was like two weeks. Something like that. And um, we didn't have any hot water then. So I felt like it was pretty much the same as that. This card's pretty nuts. When I was about to fill up two creatures, can't block and has haste. Also, smoke breeder's good, but I don't foresee us really playing elementals. So I'm just going to take this guy. Yeah, we're on giants. I know, boy. Uh, this deals four damage to a player or a planeswalker, but if you control a giant, you get to draw a card too. So this is just like a, a, a lava axe, but it costs four. I thought it cost two for a second. I think it's probably just this guy. You clash, and if you win, it's a 3-2. Okay. It's not exciting, but whatever. What's this guy do? Do you know what this does? No idea. Yeah, and so I yelled at him. I was like, dude, you can't take 25-minute showers and not let other people take three-minute showers. Whenever a creature with toughness four greater is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you may exile. At the beginning of the end step, if three or more cards have been exiled, sacrifice it, return those cards to the battlefield. Oh, that's actually... This actually doesn't seem that bad. Oh, we're going to try this for sure. All of our guys are going to have more than four power. Uh, this card's actually good. You spend two mana to give a creature trample. It's a 2-1. And if you do it three times, so if you spend six, then you get eight mana out of it. So... It's basically spend six, get eight, and then we can cast this guy with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, why is that? Why is that making that noise? There we go. Let's put, the, tell you. let's put the vibratos on. Those Kithkin are gone? Man, that sucks. Whatever. Oh, Mornwalk? All right, I'll take Mornwalk. This is just a 3-3 three, three for 7. You can make him discard too. It's like a reverse mole drifter. That's my that's the default galaxy notification sound, which is probably why. Oh, Rebellion of the Flamekin. Maybe that's playable. What do we got? One card that clashes so far? Uh-huh. Okay, well. Hey, whenever you cast a spell during an opponent's turn, you may have each opponent lose one life. Is that a commander card? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I tried. I feel like the urn isn't going to be good just because if we cast three big boys, we probably win. Yeah, but if they kill them, we double so win. So what does that urn do? Whenever a creature with power with toughness four or greater is put into your graveyard, exile it. At the beginning of the end step, if three or more cards have been exiled with this, sacrifice it. If you do, return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. Hmm. Okay, so... Whenever a non-token creature you control attacks, you may pay a white. If you do, you get a 1-1 Kithkin soldier creature with does a ta tapped and attacking. Not bad. You attack with three guys, you get three dudes. Glare Wielder is still good. Uh, Nameless Inversion is good if we're not white. I think those are probably the cards that we we're looking at here. I think Nameless is pretty good. Nameless is pretty good. The problem is that the giant deck is usually green, is usually white red. And just take the wielder. Oh, we could actually take the elvish hand servant as well. We can get like a bunch of these. Whenever a player casts a giant spell, you may put a one-one counter on it. And these guys can get real big. We could just take glare wielder and stay on color. Not have to make a decision yet. Yeah, I like staying on color here. Take pride. It's like a reverse mole drifter. I don't think this is like. I don't think that works the way you think it works. Is it into a graveyard from anywhere? Oh, it's no, it's from you put into your graveyard from the battlefield. No. Um, okay, well, we're just taking the glare builder, I guess. Wow, another sower of temptation? Good lord. And a mull drifter? Jeez. Sour's pretty strong. I agree with you. It's gotta be Sower of Temptation, right? Like it's just there's also a ponder in here. If any of these four red cards, four blue cards come back, I'll be alright. Even if this guy comes back, I'll be okay. Alright, we're just gonna take this. Crush underfoot, choose a giant, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature. That's pretty good. Igniter is also good. Creatures you control get plus one plus oh, and if you use it three times, creatures you control get first strike as well. Bonfire is nice, but we have a bunch of five drops already. I kinda like the giant card. 
We do only have like three giants so far. Could be elementals and just take the inner flame igniter. Seems to be more elementals floating around than giants. You're an elemental. I can't believe you. What? Ted, I can't believe you. You can believe me. You can trust me, Michael. No, I can't. Michael, trust me. All right, I'm taking this guy. Oh, a wart? That's actually pretty good. Three, three, four, four with fear. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return a goblin card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, that's actually insanely good. All right, we're going to put this in the side where we're going to bring back the Mornwell, and we're just going to take the wart. But we ain't got any gobos. Oh, uh, we have a tar fire, which is a really good start. Also, this guy's very good as well for that because it's a, it's a giant and it's a goblin, so. Because he's all things. And you just get to return it every single turn anyway, so it's pretty sweet. This guy's great. Blind spot can't attack a block unless you control another giant, which works well with changelings. Uh, sure. Nothing exciting in this pack, really. Makeshift mannequin's interesting. Hornet harasser, that's a goblin. What does this do? 2 for 3 when it enters the battlefield, target creature gains fear until another turn. That's actually not bad because we do get to. We can, like, target one of our giants. I don't think we need a third one of these. I think it's either. It's one of these three, obviously. I just don't know which one. Mana can be anything, even a reverse mold drifter. That's a good point. Are you are you okay? Are you exploding? Maybe a little bit. Okay. Well, is it Horner Harasser? I think so. Oh, smoke braider's nice. Smoke on the braider. Sacrifice this guy. Target player shuffles their library. Is that a good? That command? does not seem good. Is that a commander oh, card? Mudbud's good. Mudbud is good, especially because it's a goblin. Hello. All right, our deck is actually seeming pretty good now. Um, this card does not seem great. We have like no additional clashers. Everything else seems fine though. Mudbud, yeah, it's Mudbud to Torch Runner, literally Mudbud in the name. Is the reverse Moldrift very mean that came out today or something? No, I literally just said it the other day. Like, you were here for it. Not the other day, literally, like, when we were streaming a second ago. Oh. Burp, 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 burp. You know that song? No, I didn't sing it a little while ago. I have no idea what that is. It's uh, Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. What about Smoke on Your Mother? Smoke on My Mother? Yeah. How does it stay on her? Wow, Crush Underfoot came back? Okay. Alright, that's just a two mana removal spell. Presuming we have a giant. A gigante. They'll ask, where were you when the reverse Moldrif Dream was born? And I'll be like, I was there. <laughs> Man, so many people in this draft have the Birds of Paradise picture. Oh my god, there's 50% bird Birds of Paradise. I hate it when it doesn't move. <laughs> I'm like, go for move, it. Dang Keep moving. You. Oh, a needle drop? I have no idea what that does. It deals one damage to a creature that was dealt damage this turn. Or to a target that was dealt damage this turn for one mana. And then you draw a card. The double wart deck! Gross. Woo! That's probably better than the last shot, I think. Two warts is better. Two warts are be Also, if you get a wart and they kill a wart, you can just get your other wart back. Two you warts just, are better than one. You can just chain warts infinitely. 
That's gas. Ideally, the last shot just comes back. Uh, oh, man, incremental growth is so good. Holy smokes. What does that do? Uh, put a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature, 2-1-1 one, one counters on another creature, and 3-1-1 one, one counters on another creature. Hmm. Yeah, it's basically just overrun forever. Overrun forever. We can also Bogart Harbinger to get our wart. Two warts are great. It's like uh, Reverse Mold Drifter. Is Bogart Harbinger better than Mud Button Torture number two? I think so. Plus he might come back. Red's been tabling pretty well. I agree with you. Oh, Squeaking Pie Sneak seems real good. This is a 2-2 with fear, but as an additional cost, you have to reel a goblin card from your hand, which does not seem like a problem. If you don't, you just have to pay a little more, right? Yeah, you just pay four. So it's a four mana two. It's a you gotta pay three more, so it's five. But like we have a lot of goblins now, so I'm not too concerned with it. Oh we're looking good now. Sack of goblin deals five damage uh to, to that player's that creature's controller and the creature gets the neg five, neg five. That Dang. basically kills anything. Oh, I like Dream Spoiler Witches, but we're not... Wow, we could have double incremental growth. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. Up to two creatures, plus two, plus oh, and gain all creature types at the line of turn. Mm. Holy Jesus, tiny dancer. What does my stream is so slow mean? What does that mean? Have you refreshed? Count the refresh on the highway. I really just want to take the incremental growth and splash it. That's greedy. It really is. It's not even possible. Especially with no fixing. You don't have any fixing. You're right. We don't have any fixing. I was always wondering why I never saw a black. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. What is it? How do you even activate it? Uh, you have to have no... I'm just going to take the Dream Spoiler, which is... Each player has to have no cards in their hand. Oh, wow. That's a it's, lot. It's a lot to ask. Yeah, it's a big ask. Uh, put any number of creatures on your, from your graveyard onto your library and then draw a card. Firebelly Changeling or a Skeletal Changeling. I like a Changeling here. I do too. Also, I don't... Actually, this guy could be really good. There are a lot of X1s in this format that are really hard to deal with. I'm pretty sure this is what we want. Really? Yeah. This guy's insane. I don't know if it's insane, but like the, there's a card called uh, Silvergill Dowser, which is a 1-1 one, one Merfolk for 2. And it gives target creature negative X, negative zero, where X is the number of merfolk or fairies you control. Mm -hmm. So it's usually like negative three, negative four, and it's real hard to deal with. Lowland Oath, target goblin gets plus one, plus one, gains flying. You sack it at the beginning of your next end step. Eh. Probably just take foot bottom feast. Foot bottom feast, you make the rocking world go round. Oh, tar pitchers, amazing. Sack of Goblin deals 2 damage to any target. That's nuts. It's all right. No way, man. You're crazy, bro. I'll put the witches in the sideboard. Not the witches in the board. Oh, the man. They both came back? Oh, wow. It's probably Mud Button Torch Runner now that we have Tar Pitcher because we can sack the Torch Runner and deal 3. You can sack this guy, too, but I think this card's probably better. This deck is looking nice. This guy's really good with the big giants, right? Not gonna play Mornwilk. Probably not playing uh, Smoke Breeder. Smoke on your Breeder. Oh, another blind spot giant, huh? Mud buttons in the sky. Also, yeah, Mud Button Torch Runner is great with fodder launch as well. How deep on the giants are we going? Eight man is a lot to ask for. I agree with you. We do have double double soul bright flamekin though, which means it's really only six mana. Also, this fireball changeling coming back at the last pick is pretty insane. So I think we can take out six. How four. many giants do we have? Not many. We need to take out five cards. We could literally just take out these five giants. And now we have twenty three cards, and like it's goblin, goblin. Oh, crush underfoot would have to come out too, but we can probably. Yeah. Firebelly Changeling. That guy's great. Soul Bright, Soul Bright. Goblin, Goblin, Goblin. That guy's fine. Goblin, Goblin. Oh, we can actually get... Holy shit, we can get Fodder Launch back with Wart? 
It's a mm-hmm. goblin card, so we can get fodder launch, tar fire, tar pitcher. Wow. Oh, the changeling are, is the changeling is a giant. Uh, then goblin, 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 glare wielder, glare wielder, consuming bonfire. Yeah, this deck looks insane. Need one more playable. Other giants get plus two, plus two. I mean, it's just a 5-5 five, five for 6. Is that playable? I'm tempted to just play this guy because I think it's just good. And like with double Soul Rite Flame, can you only really need 6 mana? This guy's not great because you need to have another giant. Okay, well. Okay, there we go. Morn looks too expensive. This guy's kind of boring. Ingot Chewer is a sideboard card. We're not clashing. I mean, he's eight mana, but he's a pretty big game, I think. I agree. Droop Soil Riches could be good, but we really don't have that many cards to play on their turn. Foot Bottom Feast could be good, but we also have two warts already to get creatures back. Smoke Breeder is an option because it does let us play. This is an elemental. These are both elementals. This guy is an. It's, it's activated abilities, right? Yeah, that's, that's really strong. Uh, we can use it for these guys. We can use it for this guy, which is really cool. We can use it to pump this guy. This is actually a lot of activated abilities for, for Smoke Braider. I just think our only one problem with the deck is like we don't have much of a top end. Which is kind of, kind of why I like the A drop. I don't think we need it though. Like we have a lot of resilience. We're also like this is going to deal 5 every time we cast it and kill our biggest creature. This deck seems insane. Like um, I'm going to go 9-8, even though we have a lot of, we have a lot, we, we do have double black here, and I do want to hit black for like turn one and turn two, so, or turn two and turn three, rather. Yeah, this deck seems nuts. I'm actually surprised at how well this deck seemed to come together. Not so in the butt so. You're not so in the butt so. Michael on the water. Michael in the sky. Not so in whom's butt so? Michael's butt so. I don't think there were many good one drops in Lorwyn. We can have this Bogart Forager here. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1 that makes them shuffle their library. If you sacrifice it. Wait, Michael's in the water and in the sky? Are you sure it's not just a reflection? Uh, no. But that's really up for interpretation, right? What did you say? What did you say? Nothing. Nothing in the, in the button? Yeah, nothing in the button. Okay. Oh, the UN predicts disaster if global warming not checked. Well, it's cool that I get to be alive for the last season of Earth. <laughs> Jenny, what's going on, buddy? Ten high biddies. <laughs> Can we find an opponent, please? I just want to play this double wart. Actually, before we start, I just want to see how many how many rares and uncommons we have. This is we have the same number of rares and uncommons as we do commons. That's pretty nuts. Which is worse, nothing in the button or nutso in the buttso? Um, yes. This hand is actually insane. Turn two, pie sneak. Turn three, Bogart. Humphrey Bogart, Harbinger. Have you ever played? Have you ever even seen a draft deck this good? <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? It does. Because it's cold and like it just has a good feel to it. That's why I do it all the time, because I'm like, this feels cold good. Cold and smooth. Yeah, it's got a cold. You gain one life for each elf card in your graveyard. Okay, you got it. I just want to hit one more land before I cast this guy, because then we're not going to hit the land. 
If our next card is a land, it's just unbelievable because we get to play four drop, four drop. Please no hammer forehead. Bad for brain. <laughs> Mike on the water. Michael in the sky. Is it a reflection? Uh, they have foil comics too. Yeah. All right, they didn't play anything. Land. Oh my goodness gracious! Not sold in Florida. Well, it's not sold in Florida. Foil comic books should not be sold in Florida. <laughs> well, it's not like it's not like uh, it's not like Magic cards where they get like super warped. Why not? I don't know why they're not. God, why are you like this? Leave me alone. What are we getting here, my dude? There's going to be like 20 cards that are options for us. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If Beatles wrote a song about Mike B, it would be Mike Does More Acid. Wow. What does that even mean? Is that the name of the song? Because I feel like that doesn't really... Uh, it doesn't really fit with their, their, uh, their song naming conventions. Get the foil wart, and then it happens the next game. Get the non-foil. We could do it the opposite. We'll get the the regular wart this game, and the next time we'll get the foil wart, and they'll be like, wait a minute. And they'll give me the fry eyes from Futurama. Where like, Hold up. Wait. They'll be like this. I feel like you could have used your meme there. What? The one with the guy that... But I did this. <laughs> <laughs> I did it myself. Oh my god, I was literally, I was literally shocked that we drew that. I was like, wait, what the hell? How did we get that? Yeah, that card's pretty insane. I actually don't know how I beat that, I'll be honest with you. How we don't be what? Packmaster. It's a 5-5 five five that makes two twos that have death touch. That seems pretty good. It's pretty nuts. I mean, actually, how much damage do we do next turn? Three from this. We play this guy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are they not? They didn't cast it. I don't understand. Do they have guilt leaf? What what could they have here? Yeah, but they have fear. Bottom. This guy has fear. This has fear. <laughs> I don't understand. So we're just dealing you five, and then we're going to play a tar pitcher, and then next turn... So you go to nine, and then you take five here again next turn. Well, they missed the land, but this taps for any color, so they could have definitely played. Maybe they don't know that. They might not know that, actually. Because it's, like, really far below the card, so you just think, oh, it's cool, it's a guy that... And a lot of the other ones don't have abilities. Like, this guy doesn't have an ability. This is just a 2-1. This is a 1-2, but this they, the same exact card. They both search and put the card on top, but this guy doesn't do anything and this guy has a Mike your choice Frank gives up one of these for a month hot showers toothpaste toilet paper or grooming products <laughs> wow that's a weird question what's your answer uh I guess hot showers cause at least cause I don't really want my friend to smell bad he can still take showers you know you know I guess so I appreciate you, man. So we can go Spiderweb, Spiderwig, Bogart. Give this guy fear. Attack for three, four, five, six, seven, and then sacrifice the guy to kill them. So unless they play something really good here, they're dead. That derpy Bogart. Durr, look at this purple thing. <laughs> Is he wearing a snail as a hat? Everybody wears a snail as a hat sometime in their life, Michael. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, yes. This is nail on his head. 
John, what's going on? Good seeing you, my dude. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. One, two, three. Spider whale wig bogarty boots. Uh, gains fear. Everyone's so these guys are so fearful, man. Oh yeah, if they this is yeah sure they can gain a life if they want, but then what? <laughs> what's their plan after that? The art in this set was definitely unique. That's what we'll go with. Boy, this is a uh, unique set. And this is a cost, actually, so they're probably going to gain two life, right? Because you pay the cost, and this is in the graveyard, so then when it resolves, you have two in there. I mean, I'm just going to pass here. You guys heard it here first. God, he's so. And then the funny thing is, like, we haven't actually. Uh... Oh, we can sack this spider rig bogart and then get it back during upkeep with wart and then give another dude fear. This tribal set is missing the best tribe. What tribe is that? She thinks it's friggin' Eldrazi. I bet. Oh boy. <laughs> It's, the next lore one will have Eldrazi tribal. Hey, they they lost. Hey, they lost. They sure did. I mean, at no point can they ever sacrifice this because then we just respond by killing them. So, <laughs> needle drop. Uh, no, I don't like it. Um, Mayonnaise is not a tribe, but it is an instrument. Jesus, I gotta want to sideboard anything. Our deck is just so friggin' amazing. Also, our guys having fear is just... Fear is... I, you can see why they changed fear to menace. I do actually. I have I have an Eldrazi. I have two Eldrazi in my deck. Here's one Eldrazi. And here's the other Eldrazi. Two Eldrazi in my deck. Uh Intimidate is just is basically just fear. Except for that color. So like if a red creature had intimidate, it can only be blocked by red creatures and uh artifact creatures. But it's just it's just such an unfair card. Because in a lot of matchups it just basically says this creature's unblockable. It's just not a very fun mechanic. <laughs> They're probably going to be like, are you sure? <laughs> Confirm that. No, I'm good. I don't need to bid 7 million on that. I probably wouldn't that even win. That seems way overgrossed. Overgrossed? Yeah. What is this clip? Let's see what's happening here. You guys heard it here first. <laughs> that was actually a perfectly clipped clip. Eventually, Watson learned that putting unblockable everywhere was unfun. That's correct. Don't sound so angry at the clip. What do you mean? Did I? Oh, because I was like, what is this? Can we? Why hasn't our opponent submitted yet? Have they. Have they gotten to a point where they're like, I can't beat your superior goblin deck because it's literally the best deck that's ever been drafted? Okay, well, all right. Well, you, I'm not so sure about that. Do you disagree? The best deck that's ever been drafted? That's high. It's high on the hill, baby. High on the hill, baby. Yeah, I'll actually keep this hand. 
it's a little slow, but I'm okay with that. Because Mike's a little slow, and you know, I I feel like we're still good friends. So it's true. I am a little slow. I don't think being slow is really a you know a thing. Pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> hey kids, stop all the downloading. I'm a computer. That meme's so old now. Whenever another non-token elf is put in your graveyard from the battlefield, you may create a one-one. That's pretty good. That meme is old. Holy crap. Oh, body massage machine. Go. Those are good memes, though. Do you know my dad? Hey, kid, I'm a computer. Stop all the download. What are you getting here? Oh, you're giving that guy. Oh, that's not a Bogart. That's the, that's the wrong Bogart. I hope we get a land. I want to be able to play this and play other dude. Come on. Come on. Dang it. I don't want to play this guy because then we're not going to draw a land. Michael. Yeah. I'm all out of mics. Michael. You think they're going to know? Maybe they won't know that they can block this guy because of fear. I guess we'll find out. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Also, I think for the 15 hour stream, I think about eight hours of it, we're just going to watch Dragon Ball Z episodes on stream. And we'll commentate on it. Eight Thank whole hours, huh? It could be seven. We can go to seven if you want. We can go to nine if you want as well. Depends on how you're leaning that day, you know what I mean? What can you do we go to 10? How about 11? Why well, stop there? Oh, it's a D-toucher. Mike was a D-toucher once. That was how he got arrested. <laughs> wow. hi -o! So the problem is, like, we can actually champion this guy, attack, and then we get this guy back, but then they get a goblin, and it's really just not... I think they get an elf. That's what I meant. That's what I meant, obviously. Also, so here's the thing. Um, we can champion this guy, and then when this guy comes back, we can get, like, uh, fodder launch and just keep fodder launching their face. Let's get the foil wart so they know. They're like, wait a minute, I'm pretty sure it wasn't foil last game. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure you're right, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow oh my god come on Garrick Wildspeaker oh no oh my. Walker's OP oh my god that's gonna be a little harder to fix I mean I think we're just glare wielder we friggin that's so brutal we can just evoke this sneak past and kill the Garrick because I feel like we have to Cast with Evoke. Uh, no blocks. We're basically trading Glare Wilder for a Garrick, which is pretty fine. What did you attack with both the Gurk? I didn't. I attacked one with their face. Oh, okay. Also, if they had Pepper Smoke to kill this guy, so which is why we went with face with this guy and Garrick at this guy. As someone who didn't play Lorwyn and the art and themes don't resonate with me, can someone tell the army why everyone hypes it? Because it's just a really fun format. Welp. Damn, this guy's got some good cards. Jesus, you go Garrick into Dread? Come on, dude. Your deck did not look like this a minute ago. I'm all out of mics. 
Michael is Michael. He is such a Mike. So we can actually make this guy in the middle blocking attack for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Put them to 9. Interesting. Yeah, but then they crack back for 10. Yeah. Oh, and then all our guys also die because of dread. Wait, why? Because whenever Critch deals damage, you destroy it. <laughs> oh. It's actually a pretty unbelievable card, to be quite honest. Oh, boy. It also has fear. <laughs> but we have the best draft deck ever drafted. We ain't dead yet. No, not yet. Wow. But soon. So this this game, they just draw all their good cards. Rings of the Bright Hearth. Why are they playing rings? I don't know. This is my question as well. Maybe they just want to maximize all the rares. <laughs> oh, man. I guess we're going to bug out Harbinger. Come on. Let's go. Whoop. All right. Well... Oh, maybe it's because they have Garrick, so they can activate it twice. Or they can copy it, like make a beast, make two beasts. That's pretty comical if that's what they did that for. Oh, no attacks? Alright, well we have time then. This is actually pretty decent. What we can do is attack with this guy and it would just die, so then you get the Harbinger, but then we put like a ward on top. I'm probably just going to play this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. How you doing over there? Pretty good. Hey, I'm doing uh, pretty good. I wish these guys weren't black so that we could actually attack with our Fury Boy. Sounds bad out of context. I guess. I guess. It really does. Also, I also wish that this didn't kill any creature that dealt them damage. Uh, yeah, alright. Swamp? Uh, we don't want a swamp. But we're going to search our library anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Gain life equal to toughness, so they gain three. Also, this is not cool because we can't even shoot their face with it, so... Oh, because then... Because then Dread just kills oh, yeah. it. Yeah, it's really obnoxious. Well, hey, if we get, um... A lot more mountains and uh, get them a lot more mountains like a lot more we can eventually just kill their dread oh yeah that's a good point actually steal it six or whatever <laughs> yeah as long as we get 24 lands we can kill their dread did you get pax paxis for your fat tuesday pack i have no idea what that even means i don't know what you're saying right now are you drunk i think he's drunk i don't even think we're streaming on tuesday What magic game is this? I don't know what that question means. <laughs> All right, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we can deal eleven. I have no idea. Are those like mini jelly donuts? It's a donut, Frank. With jelly. <laughs> oh, cool. You Wit. just had the double weed strangle to kill both of my warts. That's super cool. Your top decks are really cool. I'm having a good time. Guess the Mike B. Luck has run out. This deck is not even the same as they played last game. Yep, we're just going to concede here. 
So they have Weed Strangle, Weed Strangle, Eye Blight Sending, Garrick, Dread, and Moon Glove Winnower. Those are the cards they drew this game. Pretty good cards to draw. Seems good. I kind of like Mornwell here just to make them discard. Take one glare wielder out for one morny morny boy. Oh morny boy, oh morny boy. Morny boy, I get knocked down, but I get up again. It's not the same song. That's the same song. Oh god. Doesn't it look like that? <laughs> it's probably worse. No, there's no way, dude. There's no way. <sighs> Chungus Wumba. What's the hold up here, man? Why is this guy taking so long to sideboard every time? I don't understand. You'll never understand. You're right. I may not. You can never have this. You can never have this. We put a card back. I think it was this guy. Yeah, there we go. Um, there we go. Come on, opponent. T -t -t -today. today, Junior. That's a good one. T -t -t today, Junior. I'm back. Bought a house. We made it. Nice. I like that you went to buy a house. You closed on a house, and then you're like, "Hold on, I gotta, I gotta let the stream now." I appreciate that. I don't appreciate that hand. I appreciate this one a little more, but not by much. Do you appreciate it? Shut up, Michael. Oh yeah. Schmeichel. Schmeichel. If you don't want giant raviolis filled with mashed potatoes and cheese, then I don't understand your life. It does sound pretty good. I mean, mashed potatoes and cheese sound always sound good, right? Yeah. Remember that time we had the best draft deck in the history of draft decks? No. Really? Really? Well. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, well, now I'm wishing I kept that one land on the top. Duh. Okay, buddy. Well, Jesus. You got Magic Player. You got Patient, patient Zero over here. Oh, my God, we did it. Looks like we made it. Do I just trade with a Guilt Leaf Ambush? That's the question I'm asking myself here. It's not the worst trade in the world. It's pretty bad. I don't even know what that card is, so... It makes two one ones. How did you not... How are you going to give me your opinion if you don't even know what the card does? Oh, we can actually play that guy. I guess we're actually just going to play Warrior. So he didn't here. even have it. You're right. He didn't have it. That's a good point. Sucker. You're a sucker. I mean, they have the five mana weed strangle, but... This guy... He's a uh, stink drinker. No, you are. Yep, that guy's annoying. 
buddy. You are most definitely a stink drinker. Make oh, no go. mistake. I'll stink drink your face. Will you? Got him. Did did you? I'm just champion a creature, okay? Who do I champion though? Definitely not a wart. Well, if we champion wart though, actually we can put it on here, and then just attack with this guy. And then if they trade, we can get the changeling back next turn, which is pretty cool. Should I do the thing? Sure, it does the thing. I have no idea what's going on. That <laughs> might be fantastic. Oh, all right, cool. They're just going to weed strangle this, and we're going to have no board except for this guy. But I guess that's fine, because it's still that guy. we still got two cards, so I guess that's okay, but I'm not really sure. Wheat strangle. I mean, they always have it. There we go. They didn't have it? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. I got dubs warts, my dude. They can't even gain life. Oh man, this is going to be gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I chose this one. Wait, what? Pay two? No, I'm not activating it. What's going on right now? Champion a creature. Oh, choose target creature. Sure, I'm going to click it. There we go. Okay, we did it. That was... So they just take eight here? If they, Unless they want to chump block here? They just go to eight? Whew. Wait, did they pay five for this? I don't understand. Did they mean to hit Weed Strangle and then they accidentally hit Bog Strider Ash? Hmm. The world may never know. Because they tapped five for it. I don't understand anything that's going on right now, man. My life is really confusing. Interesting. Maybe they just thought it cost five? I have no idea. I'm real confused about everything. I'm real confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you. What's for dinner, my dude? I don't know, man. We gotta figure it out, man. Can you figure it out, I hate Michael? when the onus is on me. Well, I hate when you're alive. So you gotta go drop those thingies off, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's close by. Nothing really. Oh, it's a big old changey boy. I mean, this guy does not have fear. Yet. Do you think he's gonna get it? Maybe. Hmm. Put it out, guys. Where do you live, man? Abra Kadabra. Abra, Abra Kadabra. I want to reach out and grab you. I heat up. I can't slow down. Is this song about doing meth? I'm taking my gold B to Brown Town. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, bro. Wow. We go to this place. Get that over with. Yeah, it closes at 9, so I think we'll be able to make it. Oh, wait, there's one more round. Yeah, that should be fine. It's not going to take an hour and a half. Yeah, we'll just go there first. I was just recently informed that the ocean I was telling everyone I live near is also not an ocean, but I think that is BS because everything connects to the ocean if you think about it. Wow. Yeah, that, that particular area might not be the ocean, though. Maybe it connects, which I think is BS because ev isn't, isn't everything really ocean if you think about it? All I know is Ocean Man. Ocean Man, take me by the hands on the land. Did you know Haji Gulashi in chat actually has like a 13 part series about Ween? Just solely about Ween? No. On YouTube? Did it's not pretty know nuts. That. 
Ocean Man is my wake up alarm. Wow, I would not have expected that. That's a weird thing to wake up to. I'd be like, what the hell is this again? I woke up this morning because the neighbors were chainsawing trees. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? And also, after they were, do well, like, while they were doing that, I literally heard the guys they were doing it, that were doing it, like, climbing on our roof. And that's when I was like, what the, f why are you on our roof, man? They were on the roof? Yeah, they were on, I could hear them crawling up on my roof. And I was like, why are you doing this? Surprised it didn't wake me up. MTG bot, welcome to the welcome to the soul time brood. Bio visionary with the gifted. Uh, there we go. There we go with the Howie emote. Oh my Christ, that's not good. I guess that's not bad because like they don't have they don't have any way to like block the fear guy. Man, this is really getting confusing. This is just champion on champion action over here. And you make a wolf, sure. So you are tapped out. Can we get a glare wielder up in here? That'd be gas. Glare wielder. That's a sneaky boy. So. Hmm. I'm gonna go use the restroom. No, you gotta poop. Take my money. One hot champion on champion bug. <laughs> Mike's gotta take a little poop, I guess. I feel like we're so close to just killing them, but. I mean, we have to play both of these guys. So we're going to play, because they can't actually, this is great because they can't actually uh, gain any life here. So that's good. That's good. <laughs> There's a hole in the chair. That's true. All right. Two damage to any target. This is automatically three. And then we can actually sack the Hornet Harasser to kill this wolf. And deal them two to the face, which means they have to block. Ocean man. And if Wurt survives... Um, then we can get back Hornet Harasser. If Wart doesn't survive, um, then they probably can't kill both of these, both of which kill them next turn. So I think we're actually in good shape. Plus getting rid of this guy means no more future life gain, which is nice. I think we're actually in great shape here. Just attack, you block here. And then this guy eats this guy, so they still only have one dude which I'm fine with. And then we can also just get Changeling back next turn for a Hasty Boy if we want to do that. Ten Ocean Man biddies. <laughs> All right. All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right. They're at two. So Tar Pitcher kills them. Squeaking Pie Sneak kills them. Wart kills them. And then we have second wart in hand to get back to the first wart, so. Ocean man. I kind of turn it into a song that's not really. Mike had to poop out the demons so we could win. Yeah, that's probably what it was. 
He's actually doing a ritual in the other room. Do you guys ever wonder what life would be like if you got a chance to wake up next to Wart every morning, man? <laughs> well, one can only imagine. Also, those don't look like goblins. They look like little piggies, right? Beautiful. They have conceded from the game. We have won our first round, guys. Oh, that was only round one. Man, I gotta, I gotta go sell some movies tonight. Goblets. She's stealing babies. You're right. You're right. I started singing Ocean Man at the same time you did. Now I'm worried you control my subconscious. Oh, hold on. What kind of movies are you selling? Just a bunch of old movies that I have. Not super old, but like some of my favorites that I no longer care to have on physical media. Ocean man, some stay dry while others feel the pain. <laughs> That's solid. That's a solid, uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep this hand. I got three playables and a bunch of bunch of birdie birdie bots bogarts. That's what we got. Shut up and take my money. One big face bug. <laughs> incriminating movies? No, I wouldn't be selling them if they were incriminating. God, get it together, Esper. No, it's just like DVDs and Blu-rays that I have. Like a bunch of uh like V for Vendetta on Blu-ray, Heat on Blu-ray, like a bunch of stuff that I just have on, I have digital copies of, so I don't really need. And they just take up so much room. I just don't like physical media because it just takes up so much room. And as someone who moves, like, not frequently, but like, every few years I move because I don't own a house. And like, just packing up all this media. Who buys them? I don't know, like, the store that I'm going to sell them to. It's a store called Game On that sells a bunch of movies and games. So, I mean, they might not want them. I'm gonna it's it's just a gamble we're gonna have to take, my dude. I'm the ocean man. Ocean man Swimming in the sea every day. You're a physical media. Wow. That's painful, man. That is messed up. This is what happens, you don't show up for a while and then you just come back and start accusing me of being physical media? Okay. Oh, it's little squeaky. Oh, hey, little squeaky. What are the odds they have tar fire or lash out? A thousand percent? Zero percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, okay. Uh bottom that guy. Wow. They just help me scry. Clash is weird because it's like then both players scry. <laughs> My God. Oh, Lord. I cannot figure out what the hell a black box next to you was. It's a chair. Just letting you know. That's a chair. <laughs> That is correct. That is a chair. You are correct. God, Mike's really... Mike's really letting himself go in the bathroom over there. Whatever's happening there. Guess we're just playing this guy without any sort of... Uh, any sort of real ability there. Are they not doing anything? What's going on here? <laughs> the haste with which Mike went to the bathroom where he was like, 
I have to go to the bathroom now. Um, which makes me think that it was really urgent. Like he's blowing out the bowl right now. Like he's totally painting that bitch. <laughs> like, that's what I'm thinking right now, dude. Something's happening. Language. Oops. Oopsie. Awkward. Why he waits for streaming to let down the old Stanley steamer? You know, I don't know. I don't know why he does what he does. That's a good one. Hmm, something's happened. I blight sending. Oh, we can get squeaky back? A little squeaky? We can get a little squeaky back next turn? Oh, little squeaky. And we didn't even get to get, we didn't even get to get a little squeaky back. Oh, little squeaky, oh, this is a hand, a little squeaky man. We literally saw no cards except for Lash Out and Tarfire. I think Mike's done emptying the Warrens. Something like that. Yeah. I am deed. No, never mind. What were you going to say? My behold. <laughs> no. Nope. I was going to say I emptied your mom's warrens, but... Huh. I don't actually know what that means. Yeah, I don't think it makes any sense. That's it's... why I didn't want to, didn't want to say it. There, I, I, said to, I said to everyone, I was like, the urgency with which you left to go, uh, to go do that. Mm -hmm. That's how I knew you were being serious, because you were like, I have to go to the bathroom now. <laughs> like, it was just so, so spontaneous. If you were like, I think I gotta go to the bathroom in a little bit. Like, that'd be one thing, but you were just like, I have to go now. Those chicken wings messed me up, man. That was last night, man. Oh, they're still doing damage. That's rough. They were just like, they are kind of greasy. Well, they're chicken wings. Yeah, but even for chicken wings, you know? They're chicken wings. That's rude. You okay? Huh? You okay? Whoa! Take it easy, Hammer Time. Which one did we, which one did they see last game? I'm just gonna get the foil worth this time. I actually don't think they saw either word, did they? They just conceded before that. Couldn't tell you. You were you were gone. That's true. Yeah, no, that that makes sense. I know it. Boy, do I know it. What are you doing here? Mornwelk? Tar pitcher? Do you want to be a tar pitcher or a belly itcher, Mike? Belly itcher. Dang it. That's so like, I'm just actually going to kill this guy now. Because if they have like tar fire in hand, they get to kill wart, and I'm not really about that wart life. How do they can kill wart with tar fire? Because they have tar pitcher on the board. You have to sacrifice himself and use that? That'd be to kill trade. a wart? Yeah. No, I don't think so, man. Not when we can get tar fire back infinitely. You know how strong this card is? It's just a little, you just keep getting shocks. Mono shocks. Shocks, 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 shocks. Um, I think that's a fine trade. I got Ward on board. They're not going to block, though, is the thing. So I'm. they're going to crack back, and I don't, I don't want to block here. So 
I'm wondering if it's worth a deal too, just to take three, but I think it's fine. I don't think Wart's gonna survive, I'll be honest with you guys. I think she's gonna get strangled or lashed out. Oh, they actually I think they have lash out, don't they? No, that was a different that was a different game. It's okay, I'm sure they'll Well it's it. this game too. They never don't have it. Do I want do I want this? I don't think so. No, I don't care about that. <laughs> What'd they see? They saw cart caterwauling boggart. And they put it on top. Interesting. Well, oh, I'll get that anyway. Ocean Man Michael. Ocean Man Michael. Oh, elementals get menace, so actually we should have just attacked because we can't block this guy anyway. But I guess they're not playing that guy. They're going to play what? Dread? Vigor? Nah, the red... The, oh, that's good. Yep, that's pretty good. That is I pretty, don't know what that is. It just retur it's Warren Pilferous. It's a 3-3 three, three Grave Digger. But if the card you get back is a Goblin, you get haste. Interesting. So near your hand is this guy and the the tar pitcher. Okay, that's cool. Hey, that's pretty good. Did not seem like a great attack. I agree with you, but what can you do? I guess it was a two for two. Yeah, but their two was better than our two. What's up, Lightning Bolt? All right, so now they have no cards in hand. Pretty sure we're actually just gonna kill this with the consuming bonfire. B -b 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 bonfire yeah, I'm just gonna pass here if we hit a land we can play smoke breeder and that gives us eight mana for this which means we just get the kind of machine gun down their things that's pretty cool I'll probably take two here if they attack I'll take it no blocks man I hope they drew a land. Can you imagine if they just drew a land? Oh man. Oh, smoke. They're basically dead now. <laughs> can you use smoke raider for your chainsaw? You can use it for anything. As long as it's an elemental, you can activate any ability or cast any elemental spell. Well, they play a land, so I assume their last card is also a land. Oh, boggart boy. Boggart boy. I get knocked down. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. So we can use this guy. So one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven. And this just kills you next turn if we don't die. One, two, three, four, five. We only have seven mana, though. So we can actually attack with the one, two, three, four, five. They might just be playing Glare Wielder. They have one card. Oh no. Oh, actually this is fine. We can use this for the two here. Three, four, seven. Red, red. Yep, use one of these. 
And we have one goblin on board, unfortunately. So if they have a way to kill that, then I guess we're just in bad shape. We're still not. Okay. Wow, double Shriek Maw deck? Their deck actually seems great. Lash Out, Warren Pilferers, Double Shriek Maw, Tar Pitcher. Like, that's a pretty solid, uh, that's a pretty solid array of cards there. Cross Gold. This is my new sponsor, Mana Traders. Oh, Michael boy. Michael boy. Yes. I get Michael. I am you. Never got a Michael B. Hey, man, let me ask you something. Okay. What are we, what are you having for dinner? pretty good oh, that's hilarious actually I'm trying to think of what's around that place there's Carmelita's but I don't know if I want to go there when it's not a Tuesday no don't do that they do have fried ice cream there though no it's like seven thousand dollars and it's not that great really I thought it was pretty good the last time I had it but it was a while ago wow I'd get knocked down yeah you but do but I get up again no you don't just stay on the ground. <laughs> tacos are for Tuesdays, dummy. You don't know anything about tacos, do you? I love tacos whenever I damn well please. Sorry, that was a little aggressive. God, you're so rude. Why is that book worth so much? This? Yeah. It's first Prince Wolverine. Oh, okay. Now it makes sense. From nineteen seventy four. 19 dickety 4. 2K, huh? Well, see you later. Well, 2.2K. <laughs> Those guys are angry. <laughs> Most of the time when Wolverine's involved, they're angry. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, opponent. I know it's hard to find a lot of 2 0 opponents with decks that are as good as mine, but, uh, you know, I, I imagine it could be done. Do you imagine it? I'll imagine your face. Look, see, we did it. I imagined it. Hmm. Is it is a grade of a 10 even possible on a comic? Uh, it is very rare, but yes. We had to use the word dickety because the Kaiser had stolen our word for 20. Yeah, and we wore an onion on our belt because that was the style at the time. Since you guys are wondering about dinner, if you were only able to eat one single thing for each... Each for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, what would they be? Uh, pizza would definitely be dinner. I don't want to live on that world. What? We only have one choice every time. Yeah, but that's the point of it, because you have to. That's the whole point of the exercise. I hate exercise. I knew you were going to say... <laughs> I was, like, was going to be like, I know you don't like exercise, but that's the whole point of this thing, man. Oh my god, this hand is exploding. I guess I would go with sushi. <laughs> Really? For which yeah. meal? For uh, probably dinner. Okay. Oh, wow. Do we just keep double? I feel like we have to, right? Like, we just can't. I feel like sushi's cheating, though, because there's such a variety. I guess the same thing with pizza, right? You can get, like, different kinds of pizza. Yeah, that's not cheating. That's that's like saying tacos, right? Because tacos are still, you can get different varieties. Every food has different varieties. You can't be, like, specifically chicken tacos with lettuce, cheese, and, like, that would be really, really narrow. Dude, we can we can sack this to fodder launch and then get both back with wart. Do you even know what's happening, my dude? Are you gonna tap this guy? That's just rude. That is a little rude. That was very rude. We have double warts in hand. Gross. Two St. John's warts up in here. Waffles, waffles, waffles. Wow, somebody really likes waffles. Is that the name of my? That's the name of my restaurant. Oh, sandwiches. Oh, sandwiches are pretty good because there's the variety so high. <laughs> uh. 
I get knocked down, but then I get up again. My opponent missed their fourth land drop against a double wart deck. This does not bode well for them, my, my dudes. Oh, which one do they see? They saw the foil. Okay, so we'll play the foil one. If <laughs> they see the foil, we play a normal one, and they're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like, God, they, do they ever not have a fucking lash out? That's unbelievable, man. I don't want this card, but we also won the clash, so I guess that's good. It's okay. We're just going to use wart to get back wart and hope you don't have a, a second lash out, I guess. Sure. That's aggressive. You think you're gonna win? You think you're gonna win this fight? This is not a fight you can win, my dude. Hey, bro. Stop tapping my my buggered. You guys should get falafel for dinner. I had it yesterday and it was a major win. Falafel does sound pretty good. Chat Mike's and Bobby Butters with the excitement and hype that there is for Modern Horizons. Do you think Watsy will do it right or will it fight? They're going to do it right. There's no wrong way to do it, really. No, I'm definitely not blocking this. I actually watched a video on falafel the other day and it made me crave it. I craved it. I'm going to get my second wart back just in case you mess up my first wart. Oh wow, we can just go Glare Wilder, tap these guys down, attack for like a thousand? Up a, th up a thousand? Up a excuse me? Up a excuse me? Mm. <clears throat> or we can good. just play like... Fire... We can actually just fodder launch too, sack this guy to kill this. They take five. We This guy can't block. We, can't, we gotta make sure this guy doesn't block though is the problem. Yeah, I'll just Glare Wilder it. The problem is I also want to get something back next turn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're gonna tap this. So they're gonna take five, six, seven, eight. So they still go to eight. A lot of this, there's actually a lot of things we can do here. We could also just play both of these. Give this guy fear. Because they're going to tap this down. So we can actually play this, give this guy fear. But again, we don't get any value off of having something in the graveyard like this. I think I'm just going to deal eight. <laughs> we don't get the value of drawing something, but eh, this is probably just good enough. So they go to eight here, and this it automatically deals five. Yikes! All right. So we basically only have to deal three more points of damage, and they're dead. Yeah, and we have a fear guy on board, so I guess they tap that fear guy, but then we just got a bunch of attackers. So I don't even feel like they can attack here unless they're crazy. Unless they can deal is fourteen. That's that's ambitious. Not impossible, but ambitious. We got a Kithkin healer. More like a Shrikin healer, all right. B -b 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 Bonfire. You know that card? You know it? Mm -hmm. You know it? Mm -hmm. You know it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. So, I'm just going to kill this guy now and sack this goblin. Like, we get it back next turn with a wart, so whatever. 
My everything is cold. I had to go to the outside. How are the games? Well, we are 2-0 and theoretically doing well here. Well, if they don't have an answer for wart, I think we're in good shape. But if they do, then I'm going to have a sad... Oh, we have another wart in hand. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that moment where you forget about the second wart in your hand in case they kill the first one. Definitely a real person. Definitely real. Peace out. Bonfire. Oh, they just need a Wismare for the funsies of it. They know we get this back, right? They're probably like, oh, I see. That is a goblin card. Yep, that'll do. I, my everything is cold. It sounds like it sounds like you might be dying. Our deck is just so good that I don't even need like I don't even care, you know. I'm just like wow. bro. No, so I'm glad we're not playing that eight drop. We literally never get like yeah, more it than five mana. Happen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, keep sees. It's good. I don't like playing the spider wig without uh look at this art, man. All this art is just so out there. Look at this guy. Gross. Disgusting. Oh, Auntie Flint was the first to pioneer the spider wig, a mass of arachnids intended to be worn rather than eaten. That seems like a real thing. Yeah, a real gross thing. You're a real gross thing. Got, got him. He has been gotten. Uh, three, two, first strike. I'll pass. Wart is the raid mother. We got two. We got two mothers in our deck alone. You got a mountain walker. That's cheating. That is cheating, actually. No, sir. I don't like it. Oh, put these two in front of your guy, doing the thing that you need them do. Actually, I think this is pretty bad for us. Oh my god. What a time to be alive. All right, so this is basically a one for one. We get to kill this guy. Come on, the mountain walk, bro. Because it's 4-3, Michael. Oh, because it's a 3-3, three, three, Michael. Oh. This deals neg two, neg two when it dies. I thought it was a 2-2. Two, two. You don't even know how magic works? Nope. Wow. This is actually pretty bad for us. This is uh, a 1,000 damage. That's quite the pickle. You're quite the pickle. Mm hmm. Okay. Do you ever wonder why your mother named you Michael instead of Schmickle? No. You will. I don't often wonder that. One day. I think we're dead. I don't feel good about it. 
I'm going to concede the game. We're going to go to the next game. So, that's, so we're playing a second, a third game. And then I got to play first. For all the Marvels. Marvels? Marvels. For all the Marvels? Yeah, if you win, you get every Marvel comic ever printed. It'll come by the truckload. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. What condition are they in? Fair to good. Oh, all right. Wait, no, that's pretty bad in terms of comic grades. In regular words, if I said something in good condition, I'm sure you good. can just sell them all. Yeah, but that's all. That's you're giving me a chore then, not a real reward. Yeah, rub your head with the hammer. You think that's how? It's only a matter of time before I accidentally bash my skull in. Is that how hammerhead sharks work? No. Huh. Those things are weird. They have eyes on the ends of the hammers. <laughs> you have eyes on the end of your hammer. Do I? I don't know. Oh wow. I think we're actually going to meet our match here. Come on, give me a swamp. Swamp, 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 swamp. Yes. Yes! Ooh, they put that card on top, and we got the Flamekin Spitfire. Pop, 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 pop! Got that one kicked in pretty good against us. This 2 2? No, the pro red one. Yeah, but it's just a 1 1. But how do we ever defeat it? It's protection from red. I use my bu 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 bonfire. That won't work. It's no, protection from red. He's right. <laughs> uh, this seems like a healthy trade that I will gladly take. Especially with a wart in my hand. Country road. Take my home. Potatoes gold. <laughs> What? Potatoes gold. What does that even mean? Not much. West Virginia. Michael's mama. Take him home. Michael's road. Potatoes gold. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. It's pretty good. One taking over the leaderboard buck. Are you? Are you? Where's the leaderboard? Oh, they got Nova Chaser? What is this, a 10-2 for four? Oh, my God. Just stop it's got it. got Trample. Don't we all, man? If it didn't, it'd be a pretty bad card. Do we just play this in the hopes? No, because we're just going to play Muddy Shut Boy. Up and take my money. So if we draw a land, we're just going to play Wart. If we don't draw... Oh, see, he's all the... See? Oh, the top. I got you. One more taking over the... Lead. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's not the leaderboard. That's the most recent... I think the leaderboard is in the chat. Rackvel's on top, then Spaghetti Toucher, then Jenny Matrix. So, um, yeah, get your life together. So if we hit another land, we want to play Wart. We don't actually want to shoot things, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. However, if we do start shooting things, if we get rid of this guy, they just have no elemental to champion. And they missed the land drop, right? How are we going to get rid no. of it? We have this guy in our hand. You can play that guy. Okay, sure. It's just not a good use of mana. But it's a good use of not getting attacked by a 10 to a trample. I mean, I'll just block it and it dies. Who cares about that? And you'll take like 8. 10, I'm um, still... Yeah, who cares? That's a lot of damage. Oh, no! You gotta be careful. Yeah, you don't have to be anything. They're just gonna tap your guy and deal you like a million. It's 4 mana to cast this guy, dude. Yeah. He's coming out next turn. We know these are three of the four cards in their hand. They got some big boys. Yeah, and they have no fourth mana right now. Yet. Land. God, we're so good at this game. Mud button and it feels so good. So even if they hit a land, like they can only play one of these two, which is fine. Which of course they hit, because why wouldn't they? <laughs> well, it's only a fourth land. It's not like it's like the, it's not like a rarity. Do you make rent and donations or subs? Uh, is not covering Mike's rent. No, Mike has an actual job. Uh, rent is only donations, not subs. But if you want to randomly donate my rent to me, that'd be great. It would. He would really appreciate it. Oh, 
Interesting. Let's draw let's draw the uh adder adder Death dra adder? Dragon fodder. That was a glare wielder. That's not the same at all. You gotta Shut keep up, them separated. One Mike B. Rentbuck. <laughs> oh my god. Preach. Hey, hey, don't pay no Mike. If you're under Mike, you won't be doing any of my yikes. Come out and Mike. Doot, 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 doot. That guy's going to go on the bottom. I don't care about that thing. I want to be higher on the leaderboard base. <laughs> Oh, you did. You did it. It literally happened right there. I, I saw it happen. Okay, so they have... Is this... Did they put this thing on the bottom? No, they didn't want Springy Boy. So now they, we know they have Changeling, Berserker, and one other card. Why is this song stuck in my head? Nobody knows. I think we might actually be dead from Nova Chaser and Changeling, Berserker here. Actually, this guy doesn't have haste. He does. Or not, it doesn't have a trample, rather, is what I meant. Yeah, he does. You stupid idiot. Dang. Dang. Well, if you weren't so stupid, you wouldn't have to learn that. I wouldn't have to learn that if I wasn't so stupid. Mm -hmm. It's very smart of you. Killed that guy? Interesting. What did we hit? Another wart? I think we can probably bottom the ward at this point. I mean, he didn't flash out it, so... He didn't flash out it. He didn't schmernurdle. So we know your hand is Changeling Berserker. Man, I'm always schmernurdling. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, lemon smoky pepperoni. Okie dokie, lemon smoky pepperoni is what Michael just said. Did I stutter? No, this is why I was able to repeat you. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okie dokie, artichoke uh, pepper smoky. So they have two cards. We know one of them. You're going to tap my muddy boy. I feel like they're going to attack and then give this guy pro red. And they're going to attack again. It's going to be pretty bad, man. It's not going to be good. We have to draw tar fire, dragon fodder. Not dragon fodder. Can it? What's it? Goblin fodder? I have no idea what the card's called. Okay. Mutter fodder. Hello, Michael. Gonna block this with my goblin. I hope your forge tender gets uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we draw land, we can actually. Actually, this guy might do it too. Sure, you got it. So we go to nine here. Yeah, she, she could sacrifice it to prevent all red. All damage to a red source would deal this turn. And this was the red source. Wisp Mare? More like Cookie Crisp Mare, am I right? No. That's rude. How can we do this turn? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can deal 10 damage. Which is not enough. What are you doing, man? Just leave me alone. Doing nothing. Leave me alone. I really wish I had a way to sacrifice this mud button torch runner. That would be ideal. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Just kill their 10 too. Can't get enough of that cookie crisp. Cookie, cookie crisp. So I can tap one thing. We have to take eight from this. So you can actually go block, block. It's not great. Yikes. 
So they probably tap this. This is going. We gotta go block, block, and then we got two other things. We have to play this guy. We're not gonna be glare wielding here. Spiderwig bogeys, and they have Kithkin guy. So, um, that's sad because that's definitely a point we could have used. I'm putting you on the bottom because you're not a relevant card, unfortunately. I'm so sorry, but you're not. You're just not what we need. If they tap this down and they champion this guy, they actually need another land to do that, so. No, not you. You. They put this on the bottom? Sure. All right. You know what's better than Cookie Crisp filling a bowl with Oreos, pouring milk on them, and eating them? Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't think you're wrong. I'm going to go lay down. Bye, biddies. Jenny, have a good afternoon. Have a good night, buddy. Can't get enough of that Cookie Crisp. I love that Cookie Crunch. Okay, that's what we, we figured you'd do that. He's all I ever wanted. Okay, if you have no other pump spells, this is actually kind of safe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. So we're gonna take one here, we're at eight. We need to block three in front of this, three power. Like, like if we won the clash here, it'd be so much different. If we threw all in front, then if we hit a land. So let's say we saved these three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. If we hit a land, we actually kill them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We also get one of these back with the goblin. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That doesn't do it either. Oh my god, it's so frustrating. They're also gonna have a guy back, I guess. So I think we're gonna block with this, with this, and with this. Because this actually gives us one extra turn with the uh, with the Wispmer on board. So we're taking seven here. We're going to two, which means our Wispmer is not lethal the next turn. surprised at how strong this was like if we literally draw tar, tar fire dragon like goblin fodder like any of those cards would just be super effective here glare wielder that's a good one all right well so we know two of your cards both of your cards yep three four five Six, seven, eight. So we have four blockers. They play this guy, make two of them unable to block. So we have two blockers for their four creatures, five creatures. Yep, that's pretty, pretty absolutely terrible. Pretty sure we're dead. Yeah, it's not looking good. It's a pretty good little combo there. Three, four, five, six. Doesn't give haste, right? There's no way to get haste from this guy. No way to sacrifice this guy. Ugh. I feel like we're so close, but it's so frustratingly bad. Three, four. We do need a land to play that guy right, though. 
Well, they can just they can evoke it for two. Forgot about that part. And then they get four attackers to our three block for our to our three blocker four blockers. You got to be kidding me. That actually changes the entire game if we just had that like two turns ago. Yeah, I'm not sure. yeah you and me both, Alexa. <laughs> actually, I don't even think it's worth it. I think it's just pass here. I mean, they're going to hit the land anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... I don't know. Just play the guy evoked and we do we just die. It's literally all you gotta do. You only need to deal is there you go, you figured it out. It's so infuriating. Didn't need to do that, but okay. They killed this guy. If we kept the one of these, I have no idea. Like, I don't know if we could have done differently. I just don't even care. It's really frustrating because our deck was pretty nuts. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe button. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. The links are in the description below. And you can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, where you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. I will see you next time. And be sure to check out the 15 hour stream that's happening this Wednesday on March 6th. So, hopefully, you'll be there.